One great session we want to recommend to you is focusing on the unusual intersection between quantum computing and arts. So the question is, how does an artist tap into this fantastically complex topic? Let me ask this to the artist herself. I'm online connected to Libby Heaney. She is the artist and she is also a physicist from London. Hi, good morning, nice meeting you. Morning. Libby, for someone like you, quantum technology must be a treasure trove. Um, what aspect about the topic inspires you most? Well, quantum physics really presents a world that's quite alien to us. Um, it purports, like, objects don't have their own identity anymore and things can be entangled, so they sort of join together in this interconnectedness. So for me as an artist, it's kind of trying to tease out these sort of alien features of quantum physics using quantum computers. <laughs> well, for non-physicists, this is a topic which is really difficult to understand. What is your strategy to engage public audience? So I, I guess what I'm trying to do is not necessarily communicate the science as such, but to create um, visual experiences that are intriguing and, and look entirely different to anything that couldn't be created on a quantum computer. Um, so, so people might not necessarily need to understand all the details, but they feel them, they get this intuition through visual means. Mm. And what uh, route are you taking uh, with your event at the Berlin Science Week? What can we expect? I, so I, I have a background in quantum computing, so I did a PhD in the field before I retrained as an artist. So first of all, I explain a little bit about what quantum computing is, and then I look at what quantum computing is critically, so who it empowers, who it disempowers in the future when quantum computers are more fully developed. So I'm really interested in sort of thinking kind of generally about how quantum computers will be in the world, as well as the aesthetic side and qu questions about truth and subjective experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, that uh, sounds really exciting. Tell me, how did you, how did you, why did you decide to uh, go into arts after, you know, having, <laughs> having done quantum uh, physics? Yeah, so I was always like really keen to go into arts, but when I guess when I was um, at school, as teachers would, they were like, you should do quantum, you should do physics at university, so on. And then, but I was always making art and um, trying to um, express myself visually. And so at some point it just felt very natural to, to make the shift. And also in, in when I was working in the field of quantum computing, I realized that there's very little ethical or any sort of social discussion around the future impacts from a social perspective, a political perspective. Um, without instrumentalizing art, it really, what it does allow me to do is talk about these ideas from a much wider perspective. And I think that's really important. So we're looking forward to experience your art during the Berlin Science Summit. Thank you so much, Libby, for this interview. Thanks.